Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received an official invitation from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to attend the joint summit of the GCC leaders with His Majesty the King of Jordan, Egyptian President and Iraqi Prime Minister in the presence of the US President, set to be hosted by Saudi Arabia on July 16th. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for his kind invitation, noting that Bahrain welcomes the four forthcoming summit. His Majesty the King wished the summit success in enhancing the GCC march and deepening joint cooperation to meet the aspirations of brotherly GCC people and build on the previous important achievements across various fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks from the advisor to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in which he expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty for the Royal Trust by appointing him an advisor to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He expressed pride in participating in the development march founded by the late Emir, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, with the support of the late His Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and with the blessing of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 22 of 2022, adding Article 318 BIS to the Penal Code, issued by Law Decree 15 of 1976, following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Council. Article 318, 318 BIS shall be added to Chapter 2 of Section 7, Special Section of the Penal Code, promulgated by Legislative Decree No. 15 of 1976, a new Article No. 318 BIS, the text of which is as follows. A person who, without justification, refuses to enable the person entitled to visit the child shall be punished with imprisonment or a fine. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 23 of 2022, amending provisions of Decree Law 18 of 1997 on regulating the pharmacy profession and pharmacy centers after its approval by the Shura Representatives Council. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 24 of 2022, amending provisions of Decree Law of 19 of 1976 regarding medals after its approval by the Shura and Representatives Council. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa promulgated Law 25 of 2022, ratifying two loan and credit agreements for the project to establish a new control center to monitor the electricity and water networks between the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 26 of year 2022, amending provisions of Law 51 of year 2009 on the prohibition of the development, production, stockpiling and use of chemical weapons and on their destruction after its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 27 of year 2022 on the prohibition of the development, production and stockpiling of biologi biological and toxin weapons and on their destruction after its approval by the Shura and Representatives Council. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 28 of year 2022 on the ratification of the Arab Customs Cooperation Agreement after its approval by the Shura and Representatives Council. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 29 of year 2022, amending Article 2 of Decree Law 25 of year 2015 on collecting the cost of establishing and developing infrastructure in the construction areas after its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Slovak Deputy Prime Minister Stefan Holi at Rafah Palace. 
His Royal Highness welcomed the guests to Bahrain and noted the Kingdom's commitment to strengthening joint cooperation and enhancing investment opportunities to benefit both countries. For his part, Holy expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted his support for further developing Bahraini-Slovak relations. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'il bin Nasser Al Mubarak, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the 23rd intake of the Crown Princess, Princess International Scholarship Program CPISP at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister emphasized the importance of investing in and creating quality opportunities for Bahrain's youth who play an essential role in the kingdom's ongoing comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness congratulated the students on their acceptance to the program and applauded their performance in the application process, which is demonstrative on their, of their determination to accomplish and excel. He commended the significant achievements of the CPISP staff and the support offered by educational institutions to the participating students. His Royal Highness noted the achievements of the program's alumni, including their assumption of leadership roles in local and international businesses. In this regard, His Royal Highness expressed pride in the appointment of Noor bint Ali Al Khalif as Minister of Sustainable Development, the first female minister from the CPISP. ISP's alumni. The Crown Prince International Scholarship Programs Class of 2022, Ali Abdul Jalil Al Anesi Al Ta'awan Secondary Boys School, Layal Khalid Hamaydan St. Christopher's School, Mohammed Hussein Al Akri Naim Secondary Boys School, Rashid Fahad Ali Creativity Private School, Samar Ibrahim Abu Hassanain Al Hidaya Al Khalifa Secondary Boys School, Sara Fawaz Zayed Al Noor Secondary Girls School, Shireen Abbas Al Ansari Al Wafa Secondary Girls School, Yusuf Jalal Al Najjar Seven Oaks School, United Kingdom, Zain Yasser Al Khaja Ibn Khaldun National School, Zainab Bashar Al Aradi Sitra Secondary Girls School. The 2020 22 scholarship recipients were selected from among 707 Bahraini students and applicants studying overseas. The final selection criteria included, included students at grade point average, the results of IELTS and SAT examinations, leadership training and a critical thinking course organized by the program as part of last year's candidates training. The students of the Crown Prince International Scholarship Program's 23rd intake expressed gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his empowerment of Bahraini youth. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Advisor for Political and Economic Affairs at the Court of the Crown Prince and Board Member of the CPISP, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the President of the Court of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed bin Salman Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed Eldar Eldarov, King of the KHK Racing Team, winning first place in the Queen's Vase over 2,800 meters, which was held at the Ascot Race Course as part of the Royal Ascot World Horse Festival races currently held in the British Ascot region. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the achievements made in the equestrian sport is thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised this achievement, which was achieved on the second day of the festival, stressing that this is a result in addition to the distinguished results achieved by the Bahrain 
Bahraini participation in this festival, which proves the great position that Bahraini Equestrian occupies in international forums. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his great pride in the honorable result of the horse Eldar Eldarov in this race, praising the strong level of jockey David Egan, who was able to deal in a special way and implement the plan of trainer Roger Virin to process, to progress and reach the finish line and make this distinguished result. His Highness looked forward to the Bahraini equestrian and horse sports continuing its honorable appearances and achieving more distinguished results through which the name and flag of the Kingdom of Bahrain are raised high in this forum and in the various upcoming participations. انطلاقه قويه جدا هل ستحدث المفاجاه لكن هناك ايضا القادمين من الخلف الدار الدروف يحاول مع ديفيد ايجان حفيد ايضا هو الاخر يحاول لكن زكريا في الصداره وفي المركز الاول ها قد دخلنا الفورلونج الاخير ها قد دخلنا في الاثاره والمتعه زكريا لا زال في المركز الاول لكن المركز الاول مهدد هو الدار الدروف الدار نقول لك الف الف مبروك وناموس وناموسين ناموس الاختيار وناموس السبق الله يطول عمرك ابد هاي فوزنا واحد اهم شيء البياض الوجه اللي شفناه امس واليوم وهاي الحمد لله يعني يبين لك النجاح الحمد لله اسمح لي قبل ما اسال عن الحصان اسال عن الويست كوست الويست كوست عفوا اختيارك صحيح اكيد يعطينا نحن ان ان كان عندك معنويه امس لبس حمر وفاز بحمد فقلت اليوم انا بس اصفر واسود يمكن افوز اتوفق الحمد لله توفقنا تستاهل التوافق خبرني عن اختيارك للحصان لان سمعنا من الاخوان انك انت اخترته شخصيا ابو فيصل نعم الحصان انا عجبني من اول ما شفت صورته في السيل و... وقلت والله بس الحصان خلاص يعني ال... يعني البدقري ماله عجبني نسله والحصان شكل فالحمد لله توفقت فيه والله ومن اول سباق وثاني سباق والحمد لله الحين شفته في الجروب هذه الحمد لله كنتوا صبورين مع روجر فاريان سباقين سهلات تقريبا قبل بدايه القفزه الى الجروب وما كنتوا متخوفين قبل القفزه مع القفزه الى الجروب والله انا كنت متخوف لان زيده 800 متر اي فمن يعني 800 متر غفزه قويه على جروب وفي راسين راكضين وياه راكضين هالمسافه لكن الحصان بين طيب اصله وان شاء الله انه بعد الليايات ان شاء الله بتكون اقوى ان شاء الله ابوك سنه خير وان شاء الله كل السنين خير عليك شهامه في دبي وسباق كلاسيكي وبعد الحين في في رويال اسكت القادم وهل بنستمر ان شاء الله مع هذه الدخل القويه في سباقات ان شاء الله ان شاء الله احنا مستمرين الله يطول عمرك والفوز واحد وان شاء الله الله يوفق الجميع ان شاء الله ان شاء الله لمن تهدي هذا الانتصار للكل كل العرب شكرا لك سموك شكرا على وقتك the Representatives Council Speaker Fawzia Zainal and the Parliamentary Delegation held a meeting with the Chairman of the U.S. House of Representatives, Armed Services Committee Representative Adam Smith. The meeting discussed parliamentary cooperation and exchanged experiences on legislation related to enhancing security, stability and combating terrorism, violence and extremism. Zainal expressed and stressed that the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the U.S. is witnessing continuous progress, noting the important American role in con contributing to achieving security and stability in the Middle East and the world. The speaker stated that the presence of the U.S. Navy's fifth fleet in the territory waters of the kingdom shows the extent of the exceptional relations and expresses the size of the close ties and joint efforts directed to achieve the common interests of the two countries. Representative Smith stressed that Bahrain is one of the most prominent friendly countries to the U.S. in light of the two countries' distinguished and long-standing alliances, stressing the continuous support for the security and stability of Bahrain and the Middle East region. He praised Bahrain's role in securing navigation in the Arabian Gulf in light of the close cooperation paths with the U.S. Navy. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received at his office in Gdaibiya Palace the Slovak Deputy Prime Minister, Stefan Holi, in the presence of the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'il bin Nasser Al Mubarak, and the Ambassador Designate of Slovakia to Bahrain, Dr. Igor Haydushuk, and the accompanying delegation. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah stressed the distinguished friendship ties between Bahrain and Slovakia and the importance of 
of bolstering bilateral work in various fields. He noted Bahrain's keenness to strengthen its relations with the brotherly and friendly countries in a manner that contributes to the kingdom's making further civilizational achievements in light of the comprehensive development process of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah welcomed the guest, wishing him a pleasant stay in Bahrain and expressing his aspiration to maximize the benefit and exchange of experiences between the two friendly countries in the field of infrastructure, development and the employment of modern technologies to facilitate the provision of services in the shortest time possible. During the meeting, the two sides reviewed the course of relations between Bahrain and Slovakia and discussed aspects of joint cooperation. For his part, the Slovak Deputy Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah for the warm welcome, expressing appreciation for his interest in developing relations with Slovakia for the benefit of the two friendly countries and peoples. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, SCIA, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, chaired the Council's regular session and delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the Council is keen on realizing the aspirations of His Majesty the King in the field of serving religion, the homeland values and morals. The President and members extended their highest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the Royal Trust by renewing their term, pledging to His Majesty to exert further efforts in serving religion and the country. The Council also extended its congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and to the Cabinet members on this occasion. Sheikh Abdurrahman expressed aspirations to continue giving and building on the diligent work accompanied by the Council in its previous sessions with the efforts of its members. He affirmed the Council's keenness on fulfilling its mission and achieving its goals by dedicating and consolidating the concepts of Islamic unity, preserving tolerant Islamic values and traditions, and supporting the foundations of peace and cooperation among civil civilizations and religions. The Council commended the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in serving Bahrain and promoting its development in all fields. The Council expressed its confidence in the ability of loyal national cadres under His Royal Highness's leadership to bear the responsibility to continue government work in accordance with the goals of the comprehensive development process. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received commandment of the United States Coast Guard, Admiral Linda Fagan, Deputy Chief of Public Security, Major General Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Coast Guard Commander, Brig Brigadier Jassim Mohammed Al Qatam, also attended the meeting. The Interior Minister welcomed the U.S. official for her visit to further help promote the exchange of views and hailed the strategic partnership and strong ties between both countries. The two sides also stressed the importance of promoting security cooperation to develop joint operations in maritime security and regional stability. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, chaired the meeting of the Council, which was held remotely. Al Naimi congratulated Yusuf bin Abdul Hussein Khalaf, a member of the Council as Minister of Legal Affairs, and Fatma bin Jafar Al Sarafi, a member of the Council as Minister of Tourism, on their appointments, wishing them success in performing their duties. During the meeting, the Secretary General of the Higher Education Council and Deputy President of the Board of Trustees, Sheikh Dr. Rana bin Isa bin Da'i Al Khalifa, gave a presentation on the memoranda submitted by the General Secretariat. The Council has taken a number of decisions and discussed the content of the General Secretariat's memorandum regarding the proposal to include the Council's decisions approving the development of academic programs in universities. The Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs Service Center in Isa Town has received a gold category classification within the Taqim program. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Interior for Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, affirmed that the achievement comes as a result of the Ministry of Interior's adoption of many initiatives that ensure the development and improvement of government. For his part, the CEO of the Information and E Government Authority and Chairman of of the Government Service Center's Evaluation Committee, Mohammed Al Qaid praised the achievement and the center's efforts to develop and improve the services provided to customers.
The National Ambulance Center plays its humanitarian and vital role in receiving reports and providing assistance by quickly responding to the needs of citizens and residents in order to achieve public safety. The National Ambulance Center at the Ministry of Interior is committed to raising its readiness levels and improving the quality of its services. By providing the best health care during the transfer of patients in the pre-hospital phase, Thus, the National Ambulance reflects the advanced level achieved by the various services sectors in the Kingdom, which comes to meet the needs of its citizens and residents. In the National Ambulance Center, we always prioritize delivering the expected medical care with the highest quality standards and the stage of the pre-hospital emergency care, and then transporting the patient to the hospital. There are uh, 12 ambulance centers that are distributed all governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain in relation of the operation department of the National Ambulance Center. We aim uh, to always improve the time of response and uh, to provide better ambulance service uh, in the Kingdom. Within the speedy responses to emergency cases, the operations room of the National Ambulance Center plays a vital security and community role in receiving all types of medical emergency reports through the 999 hotline to request the National Ambulance. So at the National Ambulance Center, our ambulances are fitted with the latest equipment and materials for the purpose of providing a better medical care in the pre-hospital phase. Additionally, our team of uh, specialized and trained paramedics, ambulance nurses and ambulance drivers provide the best medical care in all levels of the pre-hospital phase, from the basic life support, BLS, to the advanced life support, ALS. In addition, the National Ambulance Center is keen to keep pace with international standards in the fields of safety, ambulance services and emergency medicine, which led the National Ambulance Center to qualified staff to provide rescue services and follow-up cases according to the highest quality levels around the clock.